Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome back to another video and probably, maybe, the last big unboxing for a while. Uh, today, I have finally the, well, missing piece, I suppose, for my build, my new build now, which is the um, Ryzen 9 5900X, 12 cores, 24 threads. I'm sure you probably all already know about it. It's um, very well documented. Um, what I will say is it's very, very light and moving around in there because this doesn't come with a stock cooler. There you go. There's my serial number if you particularly want it, I think. Oh no, just the SKU number. Um, there's nothing actually out of the ordinary. It's pretty much the same as all the rest of the boxes. In fact, I probably do have my other one. Ah, yes, I do. For the 3600. Uh, which is here, so yeah, one's slightly thinner than the other, well no, they <laughs> actually are the same, um, just obviously, yeah, slightly different colour variation for the 9 rather than the 5, um, obviously this one would have come with a, or did, I should say, come with a stock cooler, um, whereas the new one doesn't, so this isn't going to be very interesting, or like revolutionary at all, so yes, just bear in mind for that if you uh, are expecting to see something crazy in this box because you're definitely not. <laughs> it is just a Ryzen processor. So when you open this up, we've got a nice cross bit of cardboard where the cooler would have been. Just hold it together. It still moves around quite a lot in there. Uh, we have the processor itself and AMD's usual booklet. Oh, actually, I do have some padding on the bottom, which is good. Um, please read. Oh, gosh, yes. BIOS update. Do not forget. Even for my one. So I have to check that before I try and install it. And. Oh, my three year limited warranty. Ooh, there we go. I'm not going to read that, but thank you for the reminder on the BIOS. That's actually potentially pretty useful. Um, there's your bit of cardboard, and this is the main event, I suppose. Um, if we can ever get it to focus, it's a bit difficult because it's behind the plastic. There we go. 5900X, very nice. And you do also get the Ryzen 9 sticker. Um, which is cool. I'm a big fan of case stickers, so I will definitely be putting that on the case. Speaking of which, I'm potentially thinking about getting myself a the new Fractal Design uh, Meshify, Meshify case. So perhaps we'll see that in the video, but I'm currently running some benchmarks um, for different stuff, but we'll be looking at this particular chip as well on the channel, which I'm quite looking forward to. Um, it's been quite difficult actually to try and get these particular parts. I was 888th in the queue for, for scan, which uh, I'll talk about this another time, but basically I uh, got it from a different website that sort of only sells them when they're in stock rather than giving you pre-orders. Um, and it did cost me a bit more than uh, the offer from the price from scan. It was about £100 extra, but it beats being scalped and or having to maybe I don't know what the time, the wait would have been, but they hadn't received any further 5900Xs, so definitely wouldn't have been getting it in November. And then, of course, unlikely, I would say, probably unlikely to even get it in 2021. So if you are looking for one of these, my best bet, my suggestion would be don't wait on the pre-order. Try and wait for one of the sites, especially if in the UK, like CCL, um, eBuyer, maybe even Curry's to get a fresh shipment shipment of them and try and get one that way. But uh, yeah, either way, good luck if that's if that's the path you're going down. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hopefully you'll join me all and have a look at the chip itself, get some benchmarks along with the uh, 3080, 3090 as well, which uh, should be pretty good, pretty interesting to see. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.